Yeah, too. Sure. But that's where we're going today, uh, to uh, see the road. I'm going to see the road. Um, it's a reason for those games. At the time when I ended up coaching, my head coach got suspended. So he didn't practice during the, that week, nothing. You know, we didn't see him. So I was in uh, control of practice and put, you know, it, creating a game plan, executing a game plan, making sure they understood, getting them to buy in. As soon as they bought in, boy, it was it was over with. Like I didn't expect for them to come. I mean, I expect them to come out with energy, cause I'm always like high octane. I, I just love to compete. You know, God gave me an opportunity to compete, so that's what I do, and I go hard, cause you know I don't never want it to, you know, want God to feel like I'm ever taking anything for granted that's given to me. So. What ended up happening was, you know, of course, I'm running up and down the sideline. Them jokers look, they start running with me. We look up, scored 21 to 3 after the first quarter. We ended up Ooh. beating them. And they was a the number one seed at the time. Cedar Grove, yeah, everybody know that's a football powerhouse currently. Um, so they got the state champions all over the place. These guys, 6'5, 6'7, 6'8, you know, 6'9, whatever, down in the in the in the interior or whatever. And we came out, we ended up winning by like 17 points, but they bust out the gate 21 to 3. They coach called three timeouts in the first quarter. He didn't know what hit him. So, um, but yeah, I'm definitely, you know, I hate that it happened the way it did and my head coach got ejected out of the game and he had to sit out, but, you know, we had to do what we had to do. Just like with players, it's the next man up if somebody get hurt. It's the same thing with the coaches. Next man up. I just so happened to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good work, though. This shit all. Look what I look. Come in the game then. What you want you to do? Back down. Hell no. I want you to guard me against her. Never did a floor at Dayton Park. He never did that at Dayton Park. He never did that move at
with his legs is that the muscle is separating from the bone and that's what's causing a lot of pressure here. So the way I tape it is you tape it in the X and you pull the muscle to the bone. That way when he has, uh, when he plants down, the muscle won't separate when it lands. That's naturally what the body does. It won't separate. Why is it causing that? I don't know. I ain't no damn scientist. I just know that I've had them before and I learned how to tape them based on what, uh, what I had to go through. And I did my little research on it and then, but it, it helps. It helped me anyway. A little hurts. bit of ibuprofen and ice. Yeah, what's your pain level? No, when, when it do hurt. Oh, what I'm saying, is it a dull pain? Like, what it feel like? <laughs> like shock. Shock or something. What could you compare the pain to? Do you feel like somebody kicking your leg? No, not like a kick. It's just like pinching me real hard, son. Yeah, because you're laying from the pound and that's what causes the muscle to separate. So the way I'm taping it is at an angle, so that I'm basically pulling the muscle back to the bone. So I'll start down. Now watch what I do. I'll come up. I'll keep this so I don't get too tight. I'll go up. And then stick. Pull up. One more. And that should give him some type of relief.
sometimes you gotta take shit personally. And this is a sign of disrespect putting you up here on the damn stage. They know you can't talk and you can't listen to your coach when they out there playing a the game right now. So they don't want you to be You gotta take this shit personally. So you gotta take it out there on the court. You gotta take it personally. Now, expect one or two different, uh, one or two new players out there who didn't play the first time. This is a football school, they go with two football players, somebody here play basketball. So what? I don't know. Everybody got to get in there and rebound. I don't care if you the smallest guard or the biggest man, you got to get in there and rebound. But also use their size and their strength to your advantage. Because this is your game, which means they got to come out there and guard you too. So you got to be a basketball player. Don't be a robot. Be a basketball player. So if you got a big that's guarding you out there on the wing, hey, you clear shit out. Be a basketball player. Don't try to sit up there and run a play, number four, number two. Be a basketball player against a football player, like you be in PE. Right? Be aggressive. Y'all like another motto? You either get to the cup or you shoot the three. Or the free throw. Now, with that being said, I'm not oblivious to the four lines around the court. The game dictates what you have to do out there on the floor. Them. Let's get him in foul trouble. Reading on three, family on six. One, two, three. Yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah. Come on, man.
personally is, if we come out the gate aggressive like we had to do, if we play like we destined from beginning to the end, because we are at this point. Y'all go check the region standards a little. We definitely at this point. So every day we have to play back for me. We gotta play aggressive from the beginning to the end. Now, we, we have nothing more to lose because we lost the advantage that we had. Now we got to play from behind. Every game we have to play from behind. So look at the region standards. It'll tell you if we beat this team, this is where we'll be. If we lose to these teams, this is where we'll be. Okay? So now, here's my challenge to you. Whatever your weaknesses are, whatever you think about, how, how, okay, so when you visualize success, what do you visualize? Whatever it is, don't visualize it anymore. Your success is being strong on your weakness. So when you say visualize success, you need to visualize that keep your man in front of us, and keep your man in back. It don't make him hold at your shoulder and drive to make plays. If we visualize success, you're visualizing getting to the cup and can't nobody hold you for Jesus. And we visualize success, you're visualizing being more aggressive. Stop waiting on shit to be handed to you. You gotta go grab it. If we visualize success, we are not making bad, stupid ass plays. Music licensing we are not trying to block every goddamn shot. We don't block shots, we alter shots. There's a difference. And we take charge. When's the last time you took charge? I know when Jesus said, because you're not where you're supposed to be. Try it. <laughs> well, when was the last time? That's my point, period. When we visualize success, we want to build the visualizer. Hurry up and run in the offense and stay in the breast. Make sense? Good. So when you visualize success and you take your deep breath and you want to realize, visualize the things that we fuck up on and visualize yourself being successful with it. Do you understand? Because those are the things that we're taking advantage of. So I need y'all to fix it, okay? Fix it. All right? We know so we don't start Music the game plan the reimagined. The game plan starts first thing for me Thursday. But you guys have to make sure you finish out strong, you use your abilities to, to show strong show. Be aggressive from the beginning to the end. And nobody's got to foul trouble when they use aggressive. Coach Tula, 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 or Jamal, or Zero, or anything like that. It's just when we got on the back end, instead of hauling ass, beating your man to the spot. Man, you back to the transition. That's what we got one man spot. So visualize that. Keep your butt back if they break a breath. Go out there and have fun, enjoy yourself. Uh seeing as, I mean technically it ain't your last game, but act like this is the last time you can be on the court. Leave it all out there. Like I told y'all yesterday. If you feel like you've been done wrong, you ain't played enough, we don't give you enough shots. Prove me wrong. This is your opportunity to prove me wrong, guys. Especially if you're a senior, you feel like you ain't played a lot. Your ass is getting in the game. Prove that you need to stay out there. Because, I mean, as crazy as this might sound, this is not the end of the season. Season ain't over yet tonight. We still got other games to continue to play. So if you want to get in those, if you want to get some more minutes or some more shots, uh, if you think your defense is really good and I'm saying it's so far, then just go out there and prove me wrong. Also, most of y'all got family to watch out for. Some of y'all even got a lot of time to come see me. Probably ain't seen you play either in a while, or this might be their first time. Go out there and play for them. Go out there and play for them. So, hey, yeah, I, I do have some skills. Don't go out there and stack that shit up. Don't put me in a situation where I gotta pull your ass out because you ain't doing what you're supposed to. Because at the end of the day, like Coach Dunn said, this is a very important game that we have to get. It's a very important game. This game right here pretty much seals the deal as far as you have the first round uh, region tournament game here at your house. If you win this one. You win this, first round of playoff, region game is here every day. That's, that's what it is. That's the special We ain't had that in years. We ain't had that in years.
have grown so much and it's a joy to come out to see him and support him on this night. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm assuming, just about from what I saw, we're not shooting very good. Two of 16. Two of 16. Two of 16. <clears throat> now I know I told you, hey, lay up, jump shot, three. But at some point in your head, you got to say, hey, I ain't, I ain't home right now. Let me figure out another way to get 12 in the back. Hey, where's your head? You shot free throw. Two? Let me shot. Two. Two. Which means we're not being aggressive. We're not being aggressive. Now, we shoot 16 3 because they're giving us 16 -3. Which means we're not in the public now. So, for lack of a better phrase, we're not going to sell it. Does that make sense? Just enough. Just enough to threaten but still be in your painting area. If the ball goes to the baseline and it's your man, you come out, 25, just enough. The other one's going to have your back. We're running zone. Use twos. Do you understand that? Everybody else should have their man. It should be 25 on the other guards. All out, deny, eat 11, take them out of the game. Do you all understand that? Even a made basket. Made basket, 25. Everybody back to 32 stay. Do you understand? I just want to kind of pick it up and see what happens because we're getting stacked. All right, let's see if we can get up and down just enough in a controlled environment and see if we can get to the cup.
doesn't break me in the big day. We can game at home. We can game at home. Yeah. 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 